So we're going to install Docker on a server, Windows server. Uh, in this case, it's a core edition. And um, again, all the steps are uh, available on the Docker documentation online. The installation will be a little bit different from the Windows installation because in this case we are going to install Docker Enterprise Edition that is given for free with any Windows 2016 box. Um, there's a list of requirements. The basic requirements are that you need to be on the Windows 2016 minimum um, and uh, again the virtualization, the hyper virtualization will be enabled on, on, on the machine as an underlying technology. It's not necessary this is not something that you actually you enable it. it is something that docker will use underline so it will be transparent to the end user the first command we need to run is uh, install the docker provider that allows us actually to retrieve the package from uh, um, the docker repo um, so we will install module call it docker provider force this will be basic retriever from Microsoft. Uh, the provider has all the information. We will say yes to the information. The package will be automatically installed for us. And once it's done, then we will be able to install the package, the Docker package, basically. Okay. Okay, you see that actually the command is to install a package called Docker from the provider that we just installed. We hit enter. And the package is installed. Um, as you can see, the, the version from Docker could be different from the ones you can see on Windows 10 or Linux if you install the um, Community Edition. Um, the most relevant part is that, as you can see, this is an Enterprise Edition uh, that's quite different and is located for the Docker Windows 2016. Before we were going to run uh, our test to see that actually Docker is running. So we will say Docker, Docker run dash et goes in interactive mode show us what the container is going to do dash rm remove it immediately after and hello world so as before it will look for the container image if it is local if it's not it will pull the image from the docker hub um, once the image has been downloaded and extracted it will create a container out of the, this image and it will run the container, will show us what it's doing inside the containers, exit from it, and once it will be exited, it will remove the container from our local disk. As expected, the image is not on locally, so it will be uh, downloaded. Um, again, it's quite interesting that if you check the uh, image size on uh, different Windows boxes, so 2016, 2016 version, 1709, Windows 10, it could be the images are different because again, uh, it depends on the status image. So the image has been downloaded, the container has been created, we see the, the results of um, the container. Now as before, we check if we have any running container on the machine, nothing's there. We will check if there's any container on the machine, even in the stopped state, there's nothing. We check if there are images on this machine. And of course, there's our hello world images that we are going to remove through our command docker rmi and pull in the ID of image so that in case the image is a multi tag, we will remove it automatically. Um, and again, all the layers that were forming this image has been removed. And with that, we have a, a working environment on the Windows Server box ready to start and, and to be used.